it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left. This is Thriller from the Fresh Style Rockers representing Staten Island, New York, all the way from the 70s, all the way up to 2008, right here at the R Cypher, you know, where my man Charlie got it going down. You know, you got the uh, jam going on, so I'm happy to see that B-Boy is in Staten Island is being resurrected in the last two or three years where we have practice we have practice spots, we have different events, Charlie's throwing events, Fresh Style we're throwing events at Martini Red, we threw the Battle of Shaolin, and now you have the battle in the Lost Borough, which is gonna be crazy. So I'm really happy that this B-Boy thing is going on. I also wanna shout out the Bandulos, the real hip hop B-Boy band, straight here from Staten, we representing and everything we do, so it's a good thing. We want to keep that movement going. My man Ken Swift, you know, from the Seven Gems, my man Burn One, Mr. Loose, Nako, all holding it down in um, Brooklyn, New York, bringing the rock dance, which we also want to bring here to Staten Island. So it's a good thing to see the young kids actually doing their thing, holding it down, because I started in the early, mid-70s, late-70s, I started seeing it, and I actually got into it somewhere around 78, 79, doing it myself. Um, I was down with my boy Shun, Frost, Slick Rick, we the Fresh Style Rockers, my man Mina, and we went on tours, been in Italy, been to Japan, uh, been in California, did shows with Paul Abdul, did different things like that throughout the years, so it's definitely a good thing to see this carrying on. So it was a lot of years that in Staten Island, people didn't even know there was B-Boys in the Lost Borough here, but it's been B-Boys from day one, B-Boy from the heart. Everything we do, when I move, I'm a B-boy. When I talk, I'm a B-boy. Everything I do, everything these young kids are starting to pick up and learn, man, they're gonna carry that on. Doesn't matter if you're 20, you're 30, you're 40, you're 50, you're 60, you still gonna have that rhythm in your gut. You hear a beat, you wanna get up and dance. I don't practice no more, do none of that, but I just dance for the hell of it, just for the love of the feeling of the music. And the one thing I wanna tell all the young B-boys is always rock the beat. Don't just go down, but get the feel of the music. The music is what dictates the movement, so that's important. So I definitely want to give my man Charlie a shout. Peace, good thing you're doing here in the art cypher, bringing the graffiti, bringing the whole hip-hop culture. So it's all love, brother, and we're all going to work together and do this thing. Peace. What we're going to be doing here in Staten Island in the next few years, we're going to give the Staten Island hip-hop history, all right? My man, on one, on two. He's gonna be doing this thing. He's gonna be, he's the hip hop, hip hop a story in the Staten Island. So he's definitely representing for Fresh Style. He's the ringmaster. He also holds the fight down in the middle of the circle. So I'm gonna give him much love for that. I got my man, the beat master, the amazing beat master E. You know what I mean? The old school hip hop DJ, also the beatbox. You know, we all roll together. My man Frost, who's the nastiest b-boy that's ever rocked on Staten Island. To this day, ain't nobody got nothing for him. And I'm gonna definitely shout him out on my man, Prince Mecca D, another B-boy, Kung Fu master, straight from the Fresh Style Rockers when we were young boys. Also, to the Force MDs, the original MCs from Staten Island. Crazy, if everybody knows who the Force MDs are, you know they made crazy music. They did music with people all over, with um everybody. So the Force MDs definitely held it together. Also want to shout out the number one DJ on Staten Island that first spun records together. DJ Hines, DJ Hawk, my man Rock and Ron, DJ Wiz, also DJing back in 1976 in West Brighton. West Brighton is the heart and soul of this hip hop thing on Staten Island because when the Bronx came out with this stuff, simultaneously within time, Staten Island did our thing. Cats going all the way up there. My man Easy G going uptown, bringing the music down here, part of the Zulu Nation, down with my man Africa Bambada, my man Easy G, right? These dudes brought hip hop to Staten Island. There was no rap records, there was none of that. Only thing you heard was mixtapes that went throughout the city from the DJs cutting in the park at the jam, and we all passed the tape to one another. That's how we heard that. We always keep it live, we always come with the soul. So what you hear on the radio right now, half of that is not really hip hop, it's rap music. But what's hip hop is when it comes from the gut. When you don't copy off of nobody, you just make that up. You get that feel, that's what hip hop is. So peace to all the true hip hop heads out there. Much love and the true B-boys and the true B-girls, yeah.
What's up, what's up, what's up? I need everybody's attention on the quickness. And I'm not talking to everybody, because some of you cats are veterans, so you know how to get busy. But this is the art of war right here. B-boy in a cypher means you battle it. You got to bring it to the next dude with a certain type of character. All right? When we were younger, we used to go and get it. We always had to bring our posse with us, because the shit was real. Right now, it's not at that level, but you should still bring the same fire. Come with fire. And I'm not talking to everybody, because some dudes brought the fire. So it's all good. When you come in the circle, you're supposed to get it your enemy. The dude on the other side, your enemy, you're supposed to be bringing it to him. And that's what I didn't see from everybody. But I'm not talking to everybody, because some of you dudes definitely brought the fire. So I don't want to knock nobody. A lot of dudes did bring it. But for you newer guys, it's a learning lesson. Take a lesson, and when you battle, bring the heat. Words to Big Bird, that's Thriller OG. Yeah.